Joe, this is Bob Peters, Central Florida Salute, and I'm here at Rockin' for Awareness at Gator Harley Davidson in Leesburg. Come on! Gator Harley is right here. Jan, Jan, tell me a little about what's going on here and how come you guys are involved? Well, first off, I'm not the boss of Gator Harley Davidson. I wish I was. I, I am um, the event and, uh, event and marketing manager for Gator Harley Davidson. And so I put on all the events. Um, Keith Totten has been a longtime customer and friend of ours. And so it was only um, right for us to help him raise money for his awareness. And um, we just love him. I said you were the boss because I thought maybe you could do something to help me get a bike here or something. <laughs> I guess not. Wait a minute, there's a big guy over here. Come here, you. Okay. Here's Keith. Keith, uh, tell us a little bit about the event. This is your last one of these for a while, or yes, what? Uh, this is our fifth, uh, our fifth annual, uh, third one here at Gator Harley Davidson. We're so much appreciative for Gator Harley Davidson for bringing us out here and allowing us to spread our awareness and to help local nonprofit veteran organizations like ourselves. Um, so we're going to go ahead and um, allow. Um, the next couple years to lay low for a little bit, and uh, but we're going to still work in the community with um, CIT, um, other little programs here and there, Code Horse. Um, so, but we're uh, we're so thankful for you guys coming out here and uh, pushing our uh, pushing our mission. Why are you laying low? <laughs> well, uh, the, he's getting old. He said. No, the donations. You know, you can only you can only push. You know, the same people for donations every single year. So after five years, the donations have become you know uh, lower and lower. So what we're gonna do is just take a little hiatus, lay low for the next about a year or two years, and then we'll pick it back up after that. So I mean, we still have like about three or four other organizations that need support, but we're still gonna go ahead and, you know, we, we still have concerts that we run, that we, uh, we donate guitars through Get Off The Bus concerts um, and uh, Gator Holly Davidson invites us uh, during uh, Leesburg Bike Fest here at Gator Holly Davidson at the end of April. We raise donations there, 100% of all those donations will go get right back into our community for our veterans. All right, you're going to walk me around a little bit and introduce me to some of these other people. I sure will. But uh, before you do that, okay. Jan, if people want to know more about Gator Harley Davidson and all the events coming on, where do they go? So they need to go to www.gatorharley.com. And or to our Facebook page, we have events on our Facebook page. Um, but you know, we support military firefighters. We have a military organization that runs the bars. We have firefighters that run the food. So we really support our local 501c3s all the time. Yeah, and if you buy a bike from Gator Harley Davidson and you get deployed, you guys will store that bike for them. Yes, yes, absolutely. We store that bike for you for free. Um, our military um, get 15% discount no matter what they buy, except for bikes, except for bikes. Um, so we, yes, we do really take good care of our... our uh, how, how big a discount? 15%. 15%. Is that? Oh, uh, 20%. I think it's 20%. Sorry. 20%. Let's go. Keep, let's keep going. Let's keep going. <laughs> I haven't got a lot of money. Thank you. We're going we're gonna to tour around with uh, Keith. Would you like to come with us? All right. Uh, we have Rob. Uh, he's the uh, president of the Nom Knights chapter, Green Swamp. Uh, always a big supporter of One Team One Fight's mission for the past three years. Uh, so uh, here's Ruff. How you doing, Ruff? Good, doing That's great, man. You at the vet fest. Vet fest. That's right. Yeah, That's my exactly Eagles right. donated a thousand dollars to you and a thousand to him. Exactly, exactly. I need to come by the Eagles one day. I need to come by there and check it out one day. The Eagles Club. Yeah. Yeah. Come on down there. It's a 4273 we'll Oklahoma. I'll do it. Good. Come on down and say hello. We'll do it. We'll do it. This guy right here, nobody works harder for veterans than this guy right here. Uh, he is an inspiration to me, and I love this guy. So what's what's new with uh, going out in the swamp in your organization? Uh, we do our we do our regular thing. We we're a law enforcement and veterans organization, and we support law enforcement veterans. We've got events all all year long. 
Our big event is a bed race we have in November, and we also have a Christmas in the swamp where we have a Christmas dinner in December, and we, uh, we do a traditional Christmas dinner for the community, and it's a full-blown dinner, and everybody that comes brings a toy, and we donate the toys to uh, local kids. We've collect, collected over 2,000 toys in the last three years. That's great, that's great. And your organization, if they want to see you on Facebook or something, what, what, what is it? We're at Facebook, we're at Green Swamp Nom Nights. We're on a website, is uh, uh, Nom Nights Green Swamp as well, on the website. So check us out, come by to our events. All of our events are posted on our website. All right, thanks, Rob. We're going to do a little traveling down here. This is your tank here, right? Yeah. And you got the, uh, you got a couple beauties there, and oh, you got that guy too, yeah. Sometimes this big dog, Keith Keaton. How you been, brother? Hey, brother, good to see you again. Listen, what? This a this a tall drop of water here. Hey, well, so what what have you been up to? I haven't seen you in years. I've been running around. Actually, I've been working out of town, so I can only come back and support one team, one fight on the weekends and things like that. So hopefully that'll change shortly, and I can be back and uh, support this wholeheartedly for the good things that we do for our veterans. Yeah, you used to be a little bit with A Bay, right? No, sir. Uh, U.S. Military Vets Motorcycle oh, US Club. U.S. Military Vets. That's right. And they teamed with A Bay on the, with the bike run that we did. Uh... Yes, sir. When we first put the together, we had a very small run for. Uh, U.S. military vets and a small run for A Bay. Then we had a whole bunch of little runs all over the place. We got smart. Uh, pick, who was it? Pilgrim. Pilgrim and uh, I got together and we put it as one unit and it built and got big. So we've each gone our own way now, but the toy run's still going strong. So what are you doing? Driving a truck? Oh no, sir! I work out of town building shopping centers. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> do, I look like, do I look like a truck driver? Yes, you do. Honestly, honestly, but it's good seeing you again, though, brother. Thank you so much. This is Tamara Sugar. Hey. Uh, How you doing? Is the co-founder, co-founder of uh, Florida for Warriors, and um, we've been uh, actually we've been with them since almost the beginning, actually from the beginning. Yeah, we, we've been, uh, uh, my, uh, my team and I, we, we participate in their ruck marches, we donate to them every single year, and this year we're, uh, we're in support of all that they do, and more, ask Tamara what they do. <laughs> you know what? You're learning. That was really good at that. You're, you're going you're gonna to be a good co-host, brother. You. Thank you. Yeah, so what do you do? <laughs> well, um, Florida for Warriors was founded on the principle of working with veterans to help bring them back together, to bring that brotherhood, that camaraderie, the support that they no longer get when they're out to stop veteran suicide. Um, so our main mission is to set up events like the Silky Rucks that uh, Keith was talking about, camping trips, hiking, um, meetups, where anything from going putt-putt golfing all the way up to we have a conference coming up next month for uh, military sexual trauma. So, where, where are you out of? We are based out of Tampa, Florida, but we are all over the state of Florida. Um, we just did an event in Orlando last month. We have an event coming up in two weeks in Gainesville, then back to Tampa. So, we do events every month all over the state for our veterans. We take them camping and Jenny Springs, whatever they need. That's great. Yep. So, people want to learn more, they go to your website, which is? It is Florida 4, the number 4, Florida4Warriors.com. Um, or they can find us on Facebook, um, also Florida for Warriors. We have a public page where you can follow the events and what we do, or you can, if you're a veteran, you can join the closed group page, which is a place where you can continue that support and they can reach out if they're in crisis. We have licensed, trained professionals that can get to them and help them if they're in crisis. If they need help financially, we work with other nonprofits that help with that. And we, we just do everything we can and we um, we can't thank you, Keith. We can't thank Keith and his team. They, they literally have been there since day one to help us as a newer growing nonprofit get on our feet get out there he has donated every year they come and actually literally run some of our events they help lead the rock marches with us um, we are where we are because of groups like him helping us grow and all of us working together I'm watching his head grow over here <laughs> no you're right he is an amazing, amazing. young man and yes, I'm very proud to call him a friend yes. and a brother but anyway, I gotta move on because I see there's a crazy guy over there. You know that crazy man? Crazy guy, yeah. Crazy Come on, let's go. Guy. Okay. Look at look at this. You gotta look at these canes. These are absolutely beautiful. Uh, this is 
The founder right there. Oh, crazy. That's his Irish name. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Can't be Irish. Oscar Morrison. You know, Oscar Morrison or Bob? Well, we're going to, yeah, we'll call you Oscar Morris. Oscar Morris for today, okay? I'll let you slide. Come on over here, brother. United States Navy. And you're yeah, right. You're, see, I know I can read. <laughs> but you, uh, this is your organization, uh, Free Canes for Vets. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. Free Canes for Veterans is exactly as it sounds. It's a free cane for a disabled veteran that needs a cane uh, to assist them in walking. This is originally what we were saying when we first started, but now it's gone more than that. The cane is actually getting them away from the military or the VA canes are actually causing them damage and nerve damage in the hands. Kind of like working with a shovel too long, you get that pain. It's like carpal tunnel or what? We make them conform to fit. So now the cane fits the hand. Uh, so it's, we're going a lot farther with it than just making a cane and giving them a cane. We can get uh, their units. Uh, we, can, we can get the stickers. Uh, we put the flag on there. Uh, we can even put the rank on it. And it personalizes it and gets rid of the medical look when you're walking around with just a cane that just looks like you're broken. Now you got something prideful that you can walk around with that draws attention. Uh, it's like this guy, Jeff here, he's got one of the rocker canes. When he goes to the VA, he's like Elvis Presley. Hey, this guy, I mean, everybody stops you him. Think he, you think he might want to come over here? Jeff. Hey, hey Jeff. Jeff. Just one, okay, of, uh, we'll put him one of our members now on our board of directors. Oh, a board of director member. So, so does he try to keep you in line? Yeah. Well, Jeff. That's an impossible task. I'm Bob Peters. I'm the host of Central Florida Salute on YouTube. Yeah, we're going to get around more than YouTube. But uh, I understand he made that one for you, huh? Yeah, he did. And uh, the nice thing about it, we've got my original dog tags. I was in Vietnam from February 67 to February 68. I left right after the Tet Offensive ended. And this big red one, who I served with. And then 1st Engineer Battalion, Bronze Star, I was an E5. I got a lot of pins over the years. These are all different places I've been. Wow. And on the other side, I got a lot of pins originally from the Chicago area. And you may remember years and years ago, Chicago had a welcome home Vietnam veterans parade. It was huge and I got a bunch of pins. This is my favorite. It's uh, an emblem of a, of a grunt uh, infantryman standing in front of the flag of South Vietnam and it, the message is we were winning when I left. That's what happens <laughs> once you left brother. Yeah. Hey welcome home. Welcome home. Appreciate the best part about it is when he brought this cane to me, he brought all this stuff that one put on there. Now, of course, TSA is going to have a field day on this. I don't know if he's been through. This is his original dog tag. Yeah, I see that. It was still in the original brown package. I still got that for him. The brown package, I think, is the coolest part. But that's the original dog tag chain that he had also. So. And the, the nice thing here is this is an unusual thing. This is an upside. This is a Christmas tree. Hold on a second. Can you, are you, can you get this? Or should I move him out here a little bit? You're fine. All right. I'll get, it. I'll get the people. All right. All right. This is a Christmas tree, and Oscar said, you know, I've always wanted to have a rocker at the bottom because a lot of canes just have a piece that's about the size of a 50 cent piece, and you could lose your balance, and I have balance issues. So he says, what I'd like to do is to make a rocker for you. It'll give you the ability to stay in contact even though you're moving, which it does. And he says, since we only live about four miles apart, he says, I'd like you to be my guinea pig, and we'll see if this stands up. He says, because I don't want to make one of these for a guy in California, only to have a break, then he'd have to send it back, he'd be without it for a few weeks while I fixed it. But I gotta tell you, because he's such an artist and a, and a great uh, builder, and he's got such vision, this thing is standing up. And the nice thing about these canes is that after I'm dead and gone, this becomes a family heirloom. Yeah. And my kids, my grandkids, and all further descendants down the line may not have a lot of information about me, but they've got this. And they'll take turns having it. This will last forever. And it's a, it's a, and it's a hell of a gift for my friend here. You know, he is a pretty good guy. I hate to admit he it. He can remember his I, name. I, I've known, I've known, uh, What's your name again? <laughs> Bob Oscar. Bob Oscar. <laughs> in here in the front, this is the POW MIA cane. Uh, I was asked by the Lake County Fair if I would enter 
a cane to the uh, to the art exhibit. So this year, I'll turn it a little bit. So I get it. This this year, this is the one that we're uh, we're going to submit to the Lake County Fair. We got our challenge coin. Each one of the bullets is a uh, different kind of wood, pine, poplar, uh, redwood, and it fits for the hand. So it looks bulky, but at the end of the fair, we're going to find somebody, not a raffle anymore, but we're going to find somebody, uh, and hopefully a POW, uh, and we're going to give him or her this cane. But. Uh, it's that's neat. Well, you got the fingers like wrapped around it. Yeah. Yeah, we got it. The bamboo. We got the fingers wrapped around it. Of course, the POW had the watchtower. We got the watchtower on it. Yeah, right. Um, I did several times of attempts to do the uh, the shadow of the face, but stickers are a lot easier. So we got the stickers on there. Uh, but this is to be uh, sized out for that veteran that gets it. This is made from a red cedar, which has a lot of color in it. And uh, I'm really looking forward to finding out who's going to get this cane. Uh, well, yeah, well, you got to keep me posted. Let me know. Yeah, we might even do it on the show. Yeah, hey, uh, you never know. I, I've been known to show up once in a yeah, while. Yeah, <laughs> so, so, yeah. So, but uh, I tell you what, you're amazing. You know, Oscar. I got, you know, I kid around with you, but you're a very talented artist, and uh, what you're doing. I can't say enough about you. It's a 501c, right? We're, we are applying for our 501c. We've got uh, somebody that's going to do it for us, volunteer. And finally, we're going to be in, in this in this predicament where now we can go to Lowe's, we can go to Black & Decker, we can go to somebody and say, hey, we're 501c, what can you do for us? Yeah. And we're really looking forward to that. And what I want to do is I want to get equipment and I want to start traveling to different, uh, to the Eagles or traveling to VFW and do little uh, little workshops. Let people learn to make this. I, I happen to know a guy who's in charge of a veterans organization inside the Eagles, and he's been thinking about getting you down there. So uh, you get it on a weekend. Remember, I still work a 40-hour a week. We also have uh, today. We're giving away two canes. We got a walking stick that we're giving away, and uh, this is all cedar. So they're going to put their name on it. You can enter in. And this one is our most expensive cane yet to date. Somebody donated African blackwood to us. Most expensive wood in the world. Wow. And we got a couple pieces on there. And this one uh, is with a black uh, Black Hills juniper. And we are gonna we're gonna give this away today at the end, both of them. So, so we got a raffle going on. We got a, we're gonna you just fill your name out, put uh, either the cane or you want the walking stick or both. Turn it in. At the end of the day, we're gonna draw it and uh, call these people up and let them know they want a cane. On weekends, if you're around local, come on by. We give you a tour of the shop. We can take your measurements. Uh, we can set you up with a cane. Let you just pick out your dream cane. Uh, you know, just it's, it's kind of weird to think there's such a thing as called a dream cane. But you know, when you walk around with an aluminum cane for the longest time, yeah, it's going to be riding like a. I mean, Jeff's already knows this. Uh, I go there and I got this one guy at the VA that picks up trash in there, and he goes. King guy, King guy, the one guy at the VA. So that's how popular I am. The guy that picks up the trash at the VA at Lake Nona knows me. So, we used to raffle them off and uh, to help us raise funds. 501C, we're not going to be able to do that anymore. So that's going to be good for everybody else because from now on, it's going to be a total giveaway. Uh, we can we can raffle names off uh, and no purchase, and that's what we're doing today with these. Uh, we're just going to we're just as free canes veterans, we're just going to give them away. And so uh, we got a lot of them here that, you know, we're doing epoxy handles now. Uh, they're all conformed to fit. They fit your hand, not you having to fit the cane anymore. And it doesn't matter how much work that I've got to put into a cane, uh, I'm willing to do it for free. And so uh, this is what the best part about it is, is, is that uh, it's not what they're actually getting, it's what I'm getting back. It helps me. So we're, we're making the toughest veterans cry. And, yeah, I can and believe they that. open those things up and they just they, they they cry and that lets me know that I did a good job, especially when they're in Texas or something from long distance. Yeah, because you you send them out all over the country. Send them all over and, the country. And all, a lot of these canes are all from Christmas trees, right? The yes. people dropped off at your and you were you're in Umatilla. Yeah, right? I'm in Eustis. <laughs> oh, you're Eustis? I yeah. thought that was Umatilla. No, that's Eustis. Oh, that's Eustis. Yeah, we're oh, in Eustis. close. All right. I got an acre and a half. We have about 400 uh, Christmas trees on the on the property right now. And uh, so that's been a lot of work making canes and then going and lobbing off the limbs of all these Christmas trees. But uh, 
but it's all worth it because we are actually finding some gold mine canes out there. And these are ones uh, like we got behind us. Uh, you have a, see that's a Christmas tree right there. And, that, and that's some help, right? This is Richard. We, we, we should mention who he is. Yes, we should. Yeah, this is Richard. Uh, Richard's one of our uh, board of directors also. He's also the electrician to make sure everything in the shop runs. Uh, and, you know, sometimes I even use them. I think we need to put a light out here. So we got somebody that gets fried instead of me getting fried. We let him do it. Yeah. Army veteran. Hey, Army. That's okay, though. Airborne. So. Airborne. Thank you. Thank you for your service. I don't know if you heard from Texas. Uh, we have a veteran that started making his own cane because he didn't want to wait as long. He made his own cane, and now it's his, now it's his life now. Um, he uh, he got 1,200 Christmas trees this year because he went to the news. Uh, we made Fox News. We made all the all the big headlines all throughout. And the now you're on Central Florida. Salute. That's the only one that really counts. That's right. So, brother. but uh, yeah, it's uh, we're gonna we're, we've we've got probably now this year. 10 more veterans that are doing this uh, themselves also. And that's great, that's what we want. We want these veterans to find out exactly what I'm getting out of this and we want this to happen to them also. So, uh, yeah, the, like I said, the whole world's at our feet now. You know, they just, we don't have to chase people anymore, they come to us. Nobody better than you, huh? Two years ago, we wanted uh, we wanted to help a uh, service dog organization. So we had about five we had about five organizations that we went through, and Service Dogs for Patriots was like none other. Uh, we approached them, told them the, what we were all about, and we collaborated and uh, our missions together. Uh, two years ago, we did a an event for them, uh, walk in for. Oh, I'm sorry, Pause for Vets. That's what it was. Uh, Rock and Four Awareness, Pause for Vets. We sponsored training for four veterans and their uh, and their dogs that I believe were from uh, Marion County, possibly. Uh, they they uh, they strive to get uh, uh, dogs from. Um, Rescue. Rescue dogs. Thank you, Bob. That's why I'm the host and you're the co-host. That's right. You know everything. Um, but anyway, so um, yeah, um, two years ago we, we, we sponsored we uh, we sponsored these four veterans at no cost to them. They get their vests, their cards, their certificates, um, all of that, all for free. Um, Ten years ago, service dogs were almost ten thousand dollars out of pocket. And just here recently, the VA um, has come to where they will uh, provide service dogs. Not 100 percent. Yeah, that I, I, I'm legislation not, yeah. still needs a little work, from what I I'm, hear. I'm sure but, it needs to be. But those, they're up and making everything. the first step. Yeah, but I mean, good strides for the VA, you know, to uh, take recognition finally and connect. Uh, veterans that uh, you know have uh, post-traumatic stress, mental injuries, uh, and pair them up with dogs like this. I mean, it's it's, it's a great it's a great cause. Uh, I have a dog from uh, Service Dogs for Patriots. Um, I don't need him out in public. He's more at home because I spend a lot of time um, at house or in my house uh, working with veterans like this. So he's more just a companion at the house. Uh, but. A great organization, and as soon as Amanda's done talking, she'll fill you in. I'm here now with one of the co-founders of Service Dogs for Patriots, Amanda. Hi, guys. It's good to see you again. You so, uh, how long are you going to be here today? Just today, right? Yeah, just today. We're out here today till 4, I believe, is when time we're ending. Yeah, so we're here till 4. Where's your, where's your partner? Oh, she's in Gainesville today. I'm closer to Leesburg, so it's easier for me to come. Have you seen your show on the... Uh... We did! We did see it. Thank you. We absolutely loved it. Yeah, and then you were over... My friend brought you over to Pembroke. Yes, we were at Pembroke on Wednesday. Um, we're putting that on our Facebook page, I believe, Wednesday. The pictures from that go up on Wednesday on our Facebook page. So we had a great and time. your Facebook page is Service Dogs for Patriots? Service Dogs for Patriots on Facebook, yes. And if people wanted to donate to you? ServiceDogsForPatriots.org Okay. All right. Well, it's good seeing you again. You too. Thank you, dear. All right. Thank you, everybody, for coming out today. We're family here, and this is all that's important, is supporting 
our one team one fight for PTSD. We want to present each of you a check for ten thousand dollars, a total of twenty thousand dollars this year. I can't believe this. This is going. This is going to do so much good. So much good. We're going to be giving away a lot of canes. We're going to be giving away a lot. A, a lot of love. I love you, Bert. This is. Uh, this is phenomenal for our organization. Um, we uh, we do a lot for our veterans. We're very boots on the ground, but we are um, we are just baby baby nonprofit when it comes to funding. And for those that don't know, what we do is we created an organization that brings veterans together with humor and camaraderie. When you see these men out here in these silky shorts rocking, those are the things we put together. Um, <laughs> Um, we do campaign trips, we do meetups, we do whatever we can to bring veterans together so that the next time that gun even remotely looks like it's coming off of safety, they have a support network and they can reach out to our trained leadership that can do crisis intervention. We can reach out to other organizations to get them financial help, housing. But it won't happen if we don't get them initially to the events. And the events don't happen without funding. I'm proud to be an American Where at least I know I'm free And I won't forget the man who died Who gave that right to me And I gladly stand up next to you And defend her still today There ain't no doubt I own this land God bless the God bless America. To all our veterans out there, our active military and their families, we salute you for all you do. Till next time. I'm Bob Peters, host of Central Florida Salute. You can check us out on Central Florida Salute YouTube. And if you got a story, we want to hear about it.